is uh, surrounded by gremlins, but luckily for us, one of the lovely black rock ladies has moved higher up the hill and uh, is living up to her name, lying on top of a rock. Uh, she'll be enjoying the morning sun. I am, I don't think, but she, you can see how strong the wind is still as it's blustering around her. A beautiful light for the early morning. I must admit, last night took us a bit by, by, by surprise. So early in the evening, it was actually beautiful and warm. Uh, Jamie even sent me a message saying, oh, it's surprisingly warm tonight. But that did not last long. Hello, gorgeous girl. So the other male and the rest of the pride are unfortunately further down uh, the, the hill from us and uh, we just don't have coverage in that area so we do apologize but at least this lady is out in the open uh, OD farming yeah. would like to know which coalition controls the black rock pride as I said a bit earlier it's the black rock males and there are two of them. We saw one of them at the beginning of Safari. The other one is lying with the rest of the pride behind us. And uh, one of the males is blind in one eye, missing his eye completely. He's a very distinctive male lion. How do you think you're going to be able to get that? Okay, so. I show you. Just try. Uh, there. There we go. You see, very, very distinct. And you can see he's missing his eye. Well, I don't think these ladies are going to get up to anything. So we're going to keep moving. I think we're going to go look for some cheetah next. It's a great area for cheetah as well. There's two males that come in across from Tanzania. Um, Amani, the females in this area, uh, and um, as we head further uh, to the north, there's always a chance at the five musketeers.